Where's the angst? Why are people voting in such big numbers for anti-establishment parties? Well, two reasons, which have been the two pillars of the, of the political campaign. One has been immigration. In Italy, there are 600,000 illegal immigrants which have joined, which have reached Italy in the last uh, four years. And this has been uh, the real reason why so many people voted for the league. And then the economic performance of Italy in the last 10 years, particularly in the south of the country, which has been the worst in the European Union, which has been the reason why the Five Star Movement got so many votes, particularly in the south. It, there seems to be such a north-south divide. What does it mean for reforms going forward? What does it mean for the economy going forward? No, that's true. In fact, uh, north is totally on the right. South is very much on the Five Star Movement. And the, the, let's say the separation between these two parts of the country has never been so large as it is today. Now, what we mean in terms of political scene is difficult to judge today. Well, I speak to economists day in, day out. And if you look at the numbers, Italy is actually on a path to recovery. GDP is growing. Unemployment is going down. What will happen depending on who will govern? Now, it's true that Italy has been performing reasonably better in the last 12 months, but probably too late, and the, 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 so, the, the Democratic Party couldn't have the merit, couldn't deserve the real, uh, the real plus for this performance of the Italian economy. Now, what will happen to now? I don't think, as a matter of fact, that stability is so important in the short term for the economic performance of the country. We have been Spain, we have seen Spain, we have seen Belgium, we have seen even Germany. Now, of course, uncertainty is the biggest enemy of, of the economy and of, of, of the financial system. But uh, if this uh, crisis will find a solution in the next, uh, say, 12 months, I don't think the economy will suffer. I mean, 12 months seems like a very long time away. Do you think we won't get another a, a government by the summer? I, frankly, I, I doubt. I doubt because uh, how to compose a majority with this uh, uh, parliament is not easy. It's not easy. I personally don't believe of the possibility of Five Star Movement uh, making a government with the League. I don't think this is a real scenario. There is another scenario which sees uh, the centre-right uh, trying to find votes somewhere else uh, to get to a majority, and this sounds to me probably more reasonable. Now, and then there is the third scenario that we go and vote again, say, in one year. But we're not Germany. Germany has incredible economic expansion. So can they afford to be a government without four months? And if Italy is without a government, will it actually damage the economic prospects? If this will not last too long, I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, our economy is performing well thanks to exports, and exports have nothing to do with what the Italian government will decide. I, mean, I read all the platforms again this morning. I woke up a little bit earlier than expected and uh, tried to figure out exactly what every party promised from an economic point of view. I'm none the wiser. There, there, it wasn't a plan on growth that either parties True. were actually proponing. What does that mean for investors? What does it mean for institutional investors and retail investors? Now, I was thinking this morning, if you want to see the glass half full rather than half empty, which I tend to do naturally, uh, I am quite happy that nobody gets a majority to dismantle what has been done in the last two or three years. because. Some of the parties were proposing to dismantle our pension reform, to dismantle our Jobs Act, our law on labor. This would be a drama for the economy. Now, a, a parliament which is not capable of, form, of forming a majority will not be capable of dismantling the good things which have happened in the last uh, two or three years. So at the end of the day, this is not too uh, bad news for the economy. But don't you need reforms to push through? And if you, if the banks, are the banks now fixed? The or banks are, in, are certainly in much better shape than they were one year ago. And uh, this will continue to happen in any case. The two big reforms are behind us. What is very important is not to dismantle them. Okay, talk to me about the relationship of the Italians with the euro, the currency. 
right? The, the, we understand the two front runners in terms of parties are Eurosceptic, but actually they've never proposed in the past six months to get out of Europe. They were Eurosceptic, but in the last uh, 12 months they've understood that the Italians don't want to get out of the, of the Euro, and therefore they changed their position. Nobody is really proposing to get out of the Euro. But, but if the economy gets worse, could the Italians turn against the Euro? That's always possible, but I don't see, frankly, why the Italian economy should, should get worse, in the short term at least. Now, of course, investments will lag because uncertainty is the enemy of the investments, but uh, really the economy is moving now at a pace mm -hmm. which uh, make, me, make me confident that it will continue to grow. Okay, what is a worst case scenario for a businessman or what is worst case scenario for uh, the markets? You seem pretty confident that actually Italy will muddle through and find a, a solution. What if the leader of the Five Star would become Prime Minister? Does that change anything? The leader of Five Star becoming Prime Minister is uh, an hypothesis that I consider very remote, frankly. Uh, at least uh, after this election, if it will get 40% uh, at the next election, this would be my worst possible scenario. Okay, so you don't see them coming back and saying, actually, we could do a coalition even with the PD or something like this because they're the first party or the front runner in terms of party? No, they have been saying a few times that they are what they are. And if another party accepts their program, then they will accept it. No, so not really a coalition, but a kind of movement towards them rather than an alliance with anybody. Now, who is going to be the ally of, of the Five Star Movement? The PD, I doubt, frankly, I doubt, uh, has been their enemy uh, all along the, the, the campaign. The, the centre-right is so close to have a majority because they will probably get 37%. With 40%, they will get a majority uh, in the parliament. Uh, but I don't see it would be a suicide to do the same. Now, the, the, the hypothesis that many people uh, are afraid of is the League joining forces with the Five Star Movement. I consider this a remote hypothesis. Okay. Will the electoral law change anything? Is this electoral law? Does it is it perceived amongst the Italian population as you know being rigged by the establishment? Well, certainly it has been rigged by the establishment. What I believe is that the Italians uh, consider very difficult to go and vote with this law. It's been a very complex way of voting. Uh, I, you have not been voting, but believe I have. me, I, you have been in voting. London. <laughs> in London. It's difficult. It's difficult to vote. Yeah, it's difficult to vote because, of course, you have so many parties. You have parties like, uh, you know, some of the proportionate votes. If you're a smaller yeah. party between 1% and 3%, of course, that votes to, goes to one of the bigger parties. Yeah. If you were in charge today, what would you change? Of what? Of the electoral the, law? Um, the electoral law or the economy, is there something that actually would be a quick fix that in this time of uncertainty would actually make everyone more confident about their prospect? Well, in terms of electoral law, I believe we should go back to what we had, that is, that who wins the election gets to power, really, not a complex yes. mechanism in which, in which uh, you never know who has right. been winning. In terms of the economy, I believe the, the most important movements are behind us, as I told you. The, the Italian economy is moving towards the right direction. The important thing is to, to, to not to destroy uh, the, the, the confidence of the people. Yeah, but if you don't have um, a government that can govern, right, a, a government that can push things through, is there a danger that in four or five years, three years, in two years, you have elections that actually give a very clear majority win to a party that is considered extreme? Well, uh, as far as the Northern League, uh, the, which we can consider an extreme party, at least in some respect, not particularly on the economy, uh, this will depend very much from immigration. No, uh, the, the immigration has been devastating for this country. Uh, I'm talking about illegal immigration. Of course, Italy needs immigrants, but needs uh, the immigrants have to be chosen. They cannot be anybody landing on, on in Sicily uh, from uh, from Libya. Um, this has been. This is something which has to be. Uh, corrected if we do not want extremists uh, to gain more and more seats. As far as the, the, the five-star movements, uh, in fact, 
we are coping with the problem that the Italian Republic is dealing with since the war. How to develop the south of the country, you know? And this is a, a very difficult task that everybody has been trying to, to face. Uh, mm -hmm. We have another another time we have to mm -hmm. try to solve this issue. Uh, Paolo Scorini, do you think both Matteo Renzi and Silvio Berlusconi are over in Italian politics? Well, Silvio Berlusconi would be tempted to say yes, but in fact Silvio Berlusconi has a vitality uh, that, uh, you know, uh, has been showing even this electoral campaign that makes me very prudent in giving this judgment. As far as Renzi, Renzi is 42. Uh, in Italian politics, people uh, stay forever. Uh, so I, I, I think in one way or the other, Matteo Renzi will continue to play a role in Italian politics.